Mr Speaker, my question this morning is to the Minister for Small Business. Minister, yesterday I asked you about sole traders like Paul Lewis, who are affected by border closures but are ineligible for support through the Border Closure Critical Support Grants Program. Your response was totally indifferent to the financial struggles that Mr Lewis is facing. Later yesterday, you informed me that you had offered Mr Lewis the opportunity to meet with Enterprise Centre's Tasmania Business Advisor to talk about current circumstances. Again, the indifference is appalling. I have since heard from a gentleman who runs a photography business that services events, conferences and weddings, all of which have been severely impacted by border closures over the last 18 months. His application for support through the Border Closure Grants Program was rejected. It was rejected because he didn't meet the turnover thresholds and hasn't for the past 16 months. He hasn't met the turnover thresholds because of border closures. Minister, it's clear. The way the program has been designed isn't helping those who need it most. Will you commit to redesigning the program and offering a second round of grants? Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Small Business. Order. Thank you, Mr <laughs> Minister. Tasmanian small businesses continue to struggle as a result of border closures and lockdowns in other states. David Peach from the Launceston Chamber of Commerce has said the border closure critical support grants program you announced recently is insufficient and that grants amount are not enough to make a difference or to sustain a business. He said job losses will be a natural progression. The lack of support was a serious risk of draining our capability in the sector. What, you think about the stimulus what additional support are you going to offer small businesses to prevent needless job losses in Tasmania? No. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question this morning is to the Premier. Premier, Bianca Welsh is the manager and co-owner of Stillwater Restaurant and Black Cow Bistro in Launceston. Her incredible business has fallen by 60% on weekdays and she has questioned whether the Border Closure Critical Support Grants Program goes far enough. She said, and I quote, many businesses across Tasmania are probably questioning whether they can go on. Things are feeling scarier than they did last year because without JobKeeper and JobSeeker payments, without the industry, everything's hurting. We're just not feeling that people are really understanding how quiet things are. Premier, do you understand how quiet things really are? And if you do, can you say that the government's support package is anywhere near sufficient?